This program is brought to you in part by the Cape Cod Commercial Hook Fishermen's Association and the Alaska Marine Conservation Council. Here's what process one is. It's proposed legislation that would allow a few companies the exclusive rights to buy up all America's fish. What is a processing quota? Whatever fish you harvest, you'd, you'd have to sell to certain buyers. Essentially, that creates monopolies and eliminates free enterprise as we know it in the seafood industry in violation of federal law. I mean, everybody knows that the family farmer has been crushed by corporate agribusiness. And I think fishing's going the same way. Now they're coming in, taking over the businesses of fishermen like me and forcing us off the water. If fishing dies, the community dies. What does the processor quota share have to do with managing fish? Managing fish? Nothing. I don't think it has anything to do with managing fish. I think it has to do with managing profit. Processors have been trying to get the upper hand again, and right now they have it. I don't know, it just seems like the rich are getting richer. The smaller guys are just getting a smaller piece of the pie. Processor quota is a handout worth millions of dollars, and the worst part about it is that the money goes into the pockets of some of the richest companies in the world. They're a bunch of greedy pigs. They don't have my family or my community's interests at heart. All they're concerned with is the bottom line. And I'm gonna fall through the cracks. Guaranteed. How can you make these companies accountable? It never ceases to amaze me how they can get away with this and, and shamelessly. It's shameful what they're doing. Corporate business practices dictate to harvest your resource in the most economically efficient way for the corporation. There's no thought about the communities that depend upon the resource, but there's no thought at all given to, uh, given to what this is going to mean, other than uh, basically it's going to make a few people very rich. A corporation is a balance sheet. Catching the last fish is simply yet another challenge. Sell off the fleet close down the plants, and go into chicken burgers. The people in Congress who think that Alaska fishermen are supporting this thing have never spoken to an Alaska fisherman, because I've spoken to hundreds of them, and I have yet to find someone who thinks that it's a good idea. Why do we give an American resource to multinational foreign corporations? We should not be giving America's fish to farmers. I believe in trade, I believe in international trade, but what's going on here is just greed. As a fisherman, I depend on being able to sell my fish to whoever I want to sell it to, whoever's going to give me the best price. You harvest your fish, and there's one guy standing there that's naming his price, and that's the only way you can go. Seems crazy. Seems crazy. It's just totally absurd. It sounds like you're working for the company store. We're all going to be sharecroppers. We're just going to be out there farming the ocean for some big corporate conglomerate. Good government does not allow corporate interests to take over public resources. I think it's the worst thing I've ever heard of, and I don't know how in the world Congress could ever even think of passing something like that. 
processor quota is a violation of the Sherman antitrust laws, and that's the backbone of American capitalism. No, I'm definitely against it. It isn't right. It's time to ban processor quota. It's time to ban processor quota. I think they're just the wrong way to go. They're the wrong way to go. They're going totally around the fishermen and giving it to someone else. Processor quota needs to be banned. It's got to stop right now. We need a law that protects us against something like that.